Shabbat Shalom, Happy Sabbath. Some people think that we should not use the internet on Saturday, the Jewish Sabbath, the biblical Sabbath, but we are allowed to communicate and talk, especially about spiritual things on the Sabbath. Now, on the other hand, if I was in a synagogue today and someone was talking about business in the synagogue, that's not the purpose of the Sabbath. So I'm online on the Sabbath, but not doing business. I don't order from Amazon today. Um, I don't pay my bills on my online bank today. No. Spiritual concentration. Spiritual focus. Anyway, um, there are differing opinions on leadership of women in in the Bible not in the Bible in among among Jewish leaders among Christian leaders among Muslim leaders but let's let's think about the leaders that are women in the Bible basically I can think of only one and that is Deborah Deborah and why is it? Why did she have to be a leader? Because no men were willing. If you read the story about uh, Deborah in the book of Judges, you will see that the man, the army leader that came to her for advice because she was a judge in Israel, he wanted to know what to do. And she told him what to do, go fight. Go defend your people against the enemy. And he said, I'll only go if you come with me. So you can see he didn't want to be the leader. So when no one's available, that's when a woman can be leader. Because why? Why is it better for the man to be a leader, especially in military matters? Because scientifically we know that the male has an X and a Y chromosome. And the female has two X's. So obviously each of those chromosomes have characteristics. So the man has the balanced combination, an X and a Y, nurture, and, and bravery and all those other things that go along with um, being a male. Yes, women can be brave, but basically they are mostly nurturing. Now, of course, um, people grow up in different environments and they get different strengths. So, like when I'm in some kind of problem in, in public, in, in public um, there looks like, you know, there's going to be some violence. Um, I don't immediately step in, but I observe. And I see what's happening. And usually there's men and women there. And if there's no man doing anything, I'm not, I'm not just going to stand by. Then I get involved. But I give them a chance. I give them an opportunity to do their duty. If they don't take it, then, well, I'll do it. So these are just some thoughts. Um, when, when certain people think that uh, women shouldn't be spiritual leaders, women shouldn't teach, if there's no man willing to do it, what are you going to do? Have people stay in ignorance? Anyway, um, think about it and think about today the Sabbath it did not start with the, the commandments from the mountaintop uh, relayed to us by Moses it started in the Garden of Eden the seventh day was set apart and the Almighty Almighty finished his creation and he stopped working so it's a special day now the longest lived people in the United States and the healthiest are in Loma Linda, California. They're Seventh-day Adventists and resting on the seventh day is very important to them. On an interesting note, they also happen to have a plant-based diet, vegetarian. So think about that. Um, 
I haven't heard absolutely anything online about them having a problem with COVID-19 as one of the blue zones. The blue zones are several areas in the world where people are healthiest and live the longest. And they usually have the same characteristics, a plant-based diet, lots of, lots of activity outside like gardening. So um, why don't we hear about these things? Please study, please research, please dig for whatever you're trying to know, spiritually or, or health-wise, um, politics, anything. They, they just don't tell us things. And there's an old saying um, I think of quite often, lies are for free, but the truth has to be stolen. Okay.